Hello everyone, welcome back to some more. This is the police. It's been a, uh, it's been a rocky week upload-wise. I'm sorry about that. I don't like it when uh, videos don't end up going up. But anyway, we're here with another episode. Twister Strip Club owner, my dancers are all feminists. Police Academy student selling cocaine and crazy arms film flop. We've got a new cool car here. All the information about Laura, just like you asked. Mr. Boyd, keep your voice down. Someone could be listening. Oh, I'm sorry, Emma. It's my first time doing something like this. Here's the envelope. Everything's in there. Fine. Mr. Boyd, please write for Mr. Fry on this envelope and drop it in the mailbox across the street. What? I don't want this handled like it's some kind of game. Mr. Boyd, those are the rules. Now please, lower your voice. Fine. Uh, okay, Emma. I'll put this envelope in the mailbox across the street, just like you said. Wonder how that He's doing Mr. that on Fry purpose. Gonna get for some reason. The mailbox. Talking to yourself, Mr. Boyd? And we thought we'd have to catch you at the police station. But it turns out Jack Boyd has come down to meet us personally. Do you know why we're here, Mr. Boyd? I don't even know who you are. My name is Eugene Chaffee. I'm a businessman. Rather, a restaurateur. Although I usually tell everyone I'm a businessman. Uh, which sounds better, businessman or restaurateur? Oh, I think I've heard of you. You have a restaurant and a slaughterhouse. Uh, and you serve refried veal steaks. <laughs> well, refried veal steaks isn't my only business. But perhaps it's what I'm best known for. I thought it was time we meet Mr. Boyd and my friend here. I believe you're already acquainted. His name is Troy Star. Ah, Never heard of how could I forget? So what do you want, Mr. Chaffee? Looking for a spokesman for your beef products? I recently changed my image. And my hair. Eugene and I really want to help you, Mr. Boyd. Although after our phone call, I've had my doubts. I was making love to my wife, and you called me and told me to fuck myself. That kind of behavior is rude and inappropriate, Mr. Boyd. <laughs> I didn't mean to offend you, Mr. Starr. Just thumbing my nose at that prick mayor of ours. You keep making love to your wife, or uh, did I ruin the mood? There's a nice cafe around the corner. Spare us a couple of minutes of your time, Mr. Boyd. Lately, I've been so busy that I rarely get to sit and relax in such a nice place. And with such interesting company. Get to the point, Mr. Chaffee. I'm busy, too. In fact, I think I hear some teenagers next door robbing and raping an old woman. Maybe she's your aunt. <laughs> you Jesus see, Mr. Boyd. Christ. Good morning. What do you want? A big mug of beer. We don't serve big mugs of beer. Then a small mug of beer. We don't have beer in any size glasses. This is a family restaurant. Moms and dads come with small children. I can bring you a lollipop to suck on. Monica, Charming. where's your famous charm? Bring the gentleman a beer. I'm sure you've got a bottle under the counter. Check between the dead cats and the dried heads of your ex-boyfriends. This man, by the way, is your police chief. Don't be silly. The police chief has a bald spot the size of a toilet seat. So, as I were... Oh, I'm sorry, Eugene. It's Rogers. Probably forgot how to wipe his ass. <laughs> sorry, I accidentally skipped the line when there. You're 82 no Troy, big deal, it's only a call. You probably forget you need to wipe your ass at all. But very well, run along. Nothing too important. We can continue without you. So, Mr. Boyd, as you may already know, the official job of my old friend Mr. Star is to cause trouble for you. But believe me, it's not out of malice. It's to maintain his cover at City Hall. But to somewhat balance out this trouble, I've decided to help you out. Every day, pay close attention to your morning newspaper, Mr. Boyd. You'll find messages hidden among the pages. Simple notes, but make no mistake, the information you'll find there is extremely useful. <laughs> you see, Troy Star isn't my only spy. Um... That's it, Mr. Boyd. 
I told you it would only take a couple of minutes. I wouldn't want to disturb you while you're enjoying your drink. Keep in touch, my dear little cupcake. <laughs> oh, yes, I'm quite good at puns. Never imagined what meeting Robespierre would be like, but I certainly didn't figure the first thing he'd do is buy me a drink. Getting them to serve a beer at a family cafe? And this Robespierre has some strange superpowers. Strange, but not entirely useless. I don't like it one bit, but then again, they say it's going to rain today if a very weak immune system. Oh my god. My neighbor died. No. Felt dizzy up the stairs. Oh, come on, is the inside... Thank God, that's it. I was about to ask if everyone here is going to show up and be like, Hey, I'm a bit exhausted. Can I go and have to year off or something? I don't know. Oh, well, day 62. We've got 120 grand to our name. Not bad. Elderly security guard saw six people break through a hole in the fence. Clamp onto the site and start filling up a cart with bricks. Why would you steal bricks? They get themselves killed. Uh, we'll send Kabata, Petska, Quatch, and Smith. Take a look at the drug sales. We'll send people over here. We'll be rushing to the scene. We'll send SWAT to increase the chance of success. We're, we'll be fine. Robbery in the ghetto. Came through the gate with a knife to find it, demanded my wallet. St. Grant, Kochi, that's good enough, we'll keep these guys as a uh, response force for City Hall, that sort of thing. Seems useful enough. One of the suspects was running around and fell down, and another way, almost fell down, okay. Standing right next to the edge, easy kit, it's a long way down. Everything's fine, quit your whining. And get in this police cruiser, you're coming to the station with us. Direct possession at Eddie's Burgers. Put people back. Eleanor Compton went to wash her hands. Saw several bags of white powder in the kitchen. I know, cocaine a mile away. I watch TV! Dead bodies! Mr. Boyd, you don't know me, and I suppose that is just as well. As for what I do, you probably wouldn't approve. So I won't trouble you with any unnecessary details and get straight to the point. For, for one very specific, um, let's call it an operation. I need three dead police officers, one female and two male. Race and age do not matter. I'll return in a couple of days to collect the bodies. Who wouldn't want them to start decomposing? Uh... No? No, 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 I don't like it. Case closed. Drug possession, yeah, no, I'm not gonna respond to that. You watch TV, I play video games. Yeah. Several transparent bags packed with ordinary salt. I'm face palming so hard right now. Silly people. Animal assault in the suburb. Hello please? Some kind of beast broke into my apartment and is running all over everywhere. One bite from this thing and I'm dead, hurry. It sounds like a fake call, I've gotta be honest. We'll send the rookies out. Because at this point we might as well. I've still got one slot open, I think that... Yeah, it's just a detective slot. Nah, I'm not really too bothered, honestly. Double homicide, everyday mall. Lead investig- an unidentified man who was unable, unable to pay at the checkout reacted by killing the cashier, then the guard, and then fled the scene. Oh dear. Send people out. We'll get some frames. Probably a bad idea to send everyone right away. Animal assault. Probably a fake call. A large wasp. Got into the man's house. I mean, really?
That man... He's lost his guts at some point, probably. A Cynthia Jason filed a complaint against a workman. It appears he's been very vulgar and follows her around. I've never seen such a horrible jerk. Punish him! He's probably gonna be whistling at her or something. That's what construction workers do. They don't follow you around. Mafia assignment. You got into our business! It'll be better for both of us if the whole thing is settled. I mean, I like money. Can we... Archive it? Yes, we can. Thanks for the dosh. Pleasure doing business. See, that's the sort of thing I sort of mind seeing how people get killed, but on the other hand, I don't really mind. I need four police a day. Oh, yes. Uh, I would like to order. I would like four police. It is a very important day for my daughter. She's getting married, and I want everything to be perfect. I'm a very powerful businessman. We're talking the kind of success you can't get without making enemies. So no surprises today. I could do without any trouble. We could probably respond to that. Drug manufacturing, according to an anonymous source, a house re registered to Ernest Franklin's being used to produce and store large quantities of drugs. He's got a record a mile long. Last time we had him in here, he opened fire on some teenagers for climbing onto his yard to retrieve a baseball. Send out the force on that one. We'll wait for our lower people to get back and then we'll send them to, uh... Let's end the wedding! Billy Sue, whose behavior he complained about, she complained about, had only whistled as the girl passed by. I mean, maybe not entirely appropriate, but bloody hell, girl. We should lock her up for false allegations. Those things are serious. Like, false allegations like that, they can really ruin a man's life. Only because the woman in question didn't appreciate the behavior. I'm not saying he's doing anything perfect, but uh, she's overreacting like hell. Refuse backup. She'll be fine. Come on. So, yeah, there we go. I send my best people out and you dare ask for reinforcements. We found a ficus. Our evidence is a ficus. I'm gonna sell it just for giggles. Yes, Jack Boyd here, Chief Gardener. Sand, we're going to a party, we want to trust you with a protection. Let my guys relax and have some drinks. Sure. Although, that might not coincide too well. Investigations! We should start an investigation into George at the same time. Man, all our detectives are quite useless, I must say. Mole's like the only MPP on this shift. George Sand has stolen some weapons from the station warehouse. These are rare weapons from the Second World War. The authorities would rather see them in a museum. We're gonna do Sand a solid, so we might as well go after one of his family members then. We'll respond to the robbery here. Passerby saw through strange man across the street smashing the shop window of the Mrs. Sofa Furniture Store. They then disappeared inside. I'll send my two A guys over, uh, my A ladies over there, excuse me. And then we'll give you guys SWAT back up and such. Oh, wait. A woman called in a uh, speaking in ostrich praise. I hear from my wall the trumpeting of angels. Oh, the Lord cometh. Behold his glory. The television was right. Suddenly, I don't think we'll be sending anyone out anymore. Oh, for Christ. This is why you send the lower guys. Boss, everything went perfectly. We started off serious, all business, but then the pretty girls all wanted to be photographed with us. We ended up eating cake with the newlyweds. It was a great day. Thank you for the cash. Public indecency. Send Kabata. They've detained a weird guy who took off his clothes and started molesting girls on the dance floor. Not cool, dude. Disorderly conduct, but it wasn't trumpeting angels appearing out of nowhere. It was a music school student rehearsing on the tuba. Investigation has started. I don't think we'll be getting... Oh, we might be cheesing some frames here. Beautiful! We might be able to snatch him tomorrow. And we'll take a look at the description set tomorrow. Once we've uh, investigated. 
A man and a woman are struggling to carry a luxurious couch through the broken window into their van. Help them load it up. <laughs> I actually had someone request to go and see and go some of the more silly options. So we helped them put in the sofa and then calmly took them to the station. I love it. I love it. And that looks like it is everything. Get some drunk people. We could actually fire them for coming to work drunk. Kabata, you beautiful man. Took care of that like a boss. Labor market. Okay. Smith, can I... F you... You came to work... Oh, I wanted... 1200 professionals. That's so good. Seems to have alcohol problems. Yeah, no kidding. We'll try to hire 1,200 professionals tomorrow, then. Fine with me, Jesus. Freebird abandons drinking fountains. Oh, I didn't notice that. Yeah, that's what they talked about. Okay, everyone's happy with us. Don't count your chickens before they hatch. Bike ride in the city center. Senior citizens empty pharmacies across... Across where? It's a dilemma there. Nobody came in drunk. Oh, I don't have any reason to fire anyone. My life is miserable. <laughs> yeah, this one doesn't seem to have any copyright issues. So we'll keep playing that one for now. It fits fairly well. I oh, don't mind. Bruno Savini turned out to be a member of a gang known as Atala Funeral Home. He can help you take down the gang if you make him informant. Hell yeah, we will. Interrogate. Oh god, this again. Subject suffers from phonophobia. I have no idea what it is. Include a dictionary in these for crying out loud. Once hospitalized for electrical burns, since then he avoids electricity. Average by psychologist help him deal with childhood traumas have proven unsuccessful. As a child he was a competitive swimmer, placed in dozens of competitions. He gave up on the sport after an unpleasant experience after he finished swimming lessons. One evening, some girls locked him inside his locker and left him there alone all night. He was then repeatedly appealed to psychologists to help him with his fear of dark and closed spaces. He was regularly exposed to violence at home. After the death of his parents, he dedicated to his studies, yada yada, scholarship, best students, several side jobs. He met Dante Gambino. Mr. Gambino assisted him in the past, bailing him out in minor jams, and he is his emergency contact. Right. Who do you work for? I'm my own boss. Okay, that was a good option. Uh, your mother is dead, so that's the bad option. Let's go for this one. Go along. Listen, you're young and clever. You help us, we'll help you. We'll put in a good word for you. You might even get to go to college after all. College? You assholes don't know anything about me. Okay, go for that one instead. Um, I... That's the first time I'm hearing that name. You are lying! Well, apparently the game has decided we are lying. Uh, he is lying. He's your new daddy. No. Surveillance? No. He's repeatedly bailed you out of here. You'd be the fool if you denied we record everything. Okay, fine. I'll tell you what you want. That is me making it rain. It was Dante Gambino. I got the drugs from him. I just did what he asked. Start to investigate. And the next guy up the chain. Vickers, get on it. Moser, Gordon, we'll keep Hunter in reserve. Share from automatic weapon, take everything. We're gonna hire a snitch. Who will we make our shit? Uh, snitch. Hoskin! That way, if he dies, it'll be justified. Love it. Sorry, but come on. You should have known that was coming. One day for requests, alright. I want to hire you so bad. Can I? 
Can I fire you now? You came into work drunk. You came. Ooh. Worth it. <laughs> Sorry, dude. Uh, what shift is that? This is B shift. Yep. No shame. Love it. Rushing, can we get rid of you? Nope. Ah, uh, that's about it. So we did gain someone with 1200 professionalism overnight. Love it. Disorderly conduct. Group of teenagers were running down the street, throwing stones at the shop windows. Told him to stop. For his trouble, he was struck in the head. Spy a rock. Uh, we'll send... Kubilius. He sounds like he belongs on the Roman Senate. Publius Cobilius Caesar. Lord of the... Uh, Tribune of the Plebs. Ooh. Only four frames there. No. I can't believe it's only that early, but we've already uh, gone through the song and everything. We'll get it to play again, or we could try another one. What are you? Whiskey tinged? White Russian? Fire in the brain? Blues for Mr. T, we'll try that one. If this gets copyrighted, I swear to God. It would be a damn shame, because this sounds pretty good. Theft, some items went missing, over $10,000 worth. We're sitting together in the evening, drinking wine. And but home, that very friends have been in our family for generations. Family, camp, Calhoun, Publius Kublius. <laughs> I like him. He gains character. He shall be the Senate in the following years. He will lead this republic to greatness. Pretty quiet day. I'm waiting for bombs to drop in the streets and everything, and mass protests and riots and people breaking down. Police arrived at the residence, her husband opened the door. She shot a look at the police and ran away down the hall, but soon returned and sat on the sofa. Ask for tea and calmly interrogate them. There's no need to do a witch hunt. She already proved that she's guilty by running away. Ooh, we found jewelry. Hey, Sand! I know we're investigating your family and all, but damn. Dancer locked herself in the dressing room. Might have done something to herself. She was very upset to learn she won't be among the principal cast. And some decent people. But yeah, I'm very sorry. It turns out we were not able to find the... Uh, the jewelry. Better luck next time. Sorry you lost like 10 grand worth of stuff. I mean, I'd give you the cash myself if I had it, but you know, I'm a poorly paid police chief. What the hell am I gonna do? Jack, I thought we had an understanding, but your lack of respect is making me think otherwise. Remember, we don't treat our enemies with kid gloves. Don't make this mistake again. Our officers broke down the door, found that she had simply fallen asleep. Poor girl. Smuggling, there we go. Port officers opened a container instead of cement. They found boxes of very rare and expensive alcohol. Soon after, a SUV approached the place and three armed men got out. Screams and gunshots were heard. I did not mean to close that. Send out the a team with backup. I'm probably oversending like hell, but it doesn't matter. We will be fine. We'll have some people back. I hope Sand isn't too pissed off. Like, we're still getting him some good business. That jewelry is gonna sell for a lot. Like, our share is only part of the cash? Ooh. Send the people who have fives into professionalism. My OCD, even though there's a theft right here. Guarded jewelry store detained a man who had quietly pocketed a necklace and several rings. Scumbags acting all offended refuses to turn out his pockets. Come and sort this out yourselves. Could be a false alarm. We're now sending basically the entire force to do some smuggling. Again, we'll be totally fine. And if not, I'll take it on the chin. 
I mean, honestly, the 8 out of 10 principle that Jack used to stick to has only gone up. We've gone a 9 out of 10. Hell, lately we've been at a 10 out of 10. Subject is standing confidently in front of the guards. He cites the Bible and the Constitution and demands that he be released immediately. You won't agree to be searched under any circumstances. You don't have the right, Fuzz. Then we'll throw you in the slammer. We'll tell you all your new rights. Like the right to remain silent. Anything you say can and will be used against you. BAM! Suddenly we got to know what's in his pockets. We got alcohol. Sell it. I mean, we are becoming a multi-million business at some point if this keeps up. We are making the Mafia rich again. Alright, everyone came back at once. It's like, oh hey, you were on that mission as well? Yeah, of course. You couldn't recognize me, I was wearing a mask. Anyway, I'm robbery. An obese ma woman wearing a bunny mask entered the boutique and told the saleswoman to put all the money into a sports bag. Pulled out a gun, fired into the air. Besides the money, she also wanted a red dress. Size XL. Trust me, honey. Red's not your color. Even though I am not the person to be able to tell any of that. My fashion sense is of a rock. Just utterly horrible. Don't even bother. Got some frames. Not enough. We'll keep going. That should net us a nice bonus once we... Uh, Catch that gang. About to respond, it's the last call of the day. We'll send reinforcements if they need it, but I think they'll be fine. Yep. We're gonna end the day. And with that, we will end the video here. I'd like to thank you all for watching. Once again, apologies for not having too many of these videos out in the past few days everyone's happy that's good but yeah if you like the video let me know by leaving a like and possibly a comment down below if you want to see more this is the police and you're not yet subscribed to the channel do consider subscribing and as always until next time have a good one folks